I made it clear that one advantage we have in Edo is the large number of very young people. And you know we have a history of just culture and creativity. And we just felt that given that advantage, if we created the environment, people will come, I mean industries will come. And one of the industries that we want to attract and we have attracted is the movie, music and entertainment industry. Um, and the reason why we made that decision is first, it's a, the entertainment industry is a very fast growing one. Um, quite a lot of attracting a lot of export, exports, providing a lot of jobs and skills. So what we've done is to engage you know, key producers in the industry, try to understand their requirements. First, it's about skills. So we've partnered with them to train skills locally, sound engineers, cinematographers, um, <clears throat> you know, and all the other producers. Secondly, we actually, actually have now invested in a sound stage, invested in recording facilities, in Adobe Studios, to make it easy for them to finish their work, um, rather than you know, start and then go and complete their work somewhere else. And then thirdly, to, to support their crew and reduce the cost of their cast in producing. So these are deliberate policy measures we have taken to make producers want to come and shoot their movies in Edo. And uh, because that nets, we are creating an industry and what do we gain as a government? We create jobs for our young people, we create uh, livelihoods. And you take people out of the streets? And we take people out of the streets. I, I think we should separate the issues of artifacts, I mean, which are historical you know, works of art from the whole process of creativity. Okay. Just making sure that you create an, uh, create an environment where young people, people want to express themselves. So you see a young artist who already is doing work, doing, you know, has a studio, and, but does not know where the inspiration comes from. And he just then suddenly realizes, oh, wait a minute, 500 years ago, something, people must have done something like this. And they didn't even have the technology we have today. Or oh, they didn't have these forms or motives. And it just inspires them. So I think it's for us creating an environment that will stimulate that innate creativity in young people. Because we're very artistic people. We've already started. I think the first thing is to strengthen our you know, basic education system. So we have, as you know, we have what we call EduBest. I do basic education sector transformation. So the curriculum, the pedagogy for training and teaching children at a very early age. We now, now get um, the children to express themselves more. They're more expressive. They have their dance troops at a very early age in school. Um, so art is, we've driven art down to the very foundation of education. So you, you know, I, I'm hoping that in the next couple of years, you'll find out that we have much, we'll have Will produce m m more child actors in the country than anywhere else. All right. Now, in your speech, you did mention giving first-class graduates employment immediately after the mm -hmm. How exactly would that work? That started two years ago. So we go in. Oh yeah, two right. years. Yeah. Today I have in it says almost a hundred first-class graduates One in the education, uh, the Edo State Education um, Civil Service. So you graduate from Edo first class, any university come and I give you a next day. Simple. Wow, next day. Next day. I, I, I need to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I've had a very long relationship, more than a two decade relationship with Business Day. In my other world, while I was in business, um, this is one newspaper I've always had a lot of respect for. A uh, newspaper that's very professional and has stuck to what they know how to do. You know, they've stuck to reporting business and business news, business information, and business analysis as professionally as it can, can happen in this environment. The, as you know, the, the business environment has not been easy, has not been, uh, was, has been quite challenging over the last two decades, but it's talking. They've been there, they've, they've been on the stand every day, and they've um, diversified their offerings, they've introduced a bit more technology, delivering news and delivering services to people. And uh, the fact that they've kept, kept the CEO forum ongoing for more, you know, for more than two decades, almost two decades. It's something you should give kudos to and a lot of respect to 
Frank Agbogun, the publisher, and all you know, who, young people who I see work for this day now. I'm really proud of what you guys are doing. And Thank I say, keep it up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Kemi.